climate activists looking for a political career? Why to fight the injustices committed on the internet? Some which include information infringement. This is Chelsea, Chelsea Manning. Let's watch. Who is the person you trust the most? Is your best friend? Your boyfriend maybe? Well, almost 2.53 billion users around the world trust their secrets to their smartphones, believing that technology is going to make their lives easier, but in fact, it has a cost. Social platforms like Facebook have been using our data not only for marketing purposes, but for sharing it without our permission to companies like Cambridge Analytica and hardware developers such as Huawei, Lenovo and Oppo. For the social activist Chelsea Manning, these devices are becoming listening machines and show us ads that work as a form of malware. That is what she said in the C2 conference in Montreal in May where she also declared the need of an ethical manifesto for technology developers in order to protect people from discrimination. Because what will happen if we get classified for our skin tone, sexual preference, medical records or beliefs? That was her conclusion after a research that discovered an algorithm that can identify trans people using facial recognition. Chelsea is a transgender and former United States Army Intelligence Analyst who leaked more than 7,000 military documents to the Julian Assange platform WikiLeaks in 2013. She was convicted by court martial in July of the same year of violations of Espionage Act and other offenses. She was condemned to serve a 35-year sentence at the maximum security U.S. disciplinary barracks at Fort Leavenworth. Her sentence was commuted by President Barack Obama four days before he left the presidency. On January 2018, Chelsea announced her candidacy for the Democratic nomination for the United States Senate election in the state of Maryland, challenging Senator Ben Cardin. Alina Pulan, ADN 40. This is a fascinating story, and to discuss Chelsea Manning's political aspirations as, as well as many of these uh, different uh, paths to understanding what's going on with our security, we welcome journalist Alina Poulain to the studio. Good morning. How are you, Good Alina? morning, Esteen. Good morning, uh, Maria. Alina, welcome to the show. You were at an event where uh, Chelsea was actually there, yes. correct? And uh, what, uh, I mean, in addition to talking about her political um, interests or political future, she, she did have very interesting comments in regards to our the security of our information, correct? Yes, yeah. I think that's the most important, interesting thing about her, is that she's making a research about how deep is going to go the the facial recognition uh -huh. uh, data, how it's going to be collected, uh -huh. and how it's being used to identify transgender activists or transgender people but, in but, general. Oh, so what's going to happen is that as they you know as your uh, cell phone is identifying you will be able to tell not only if you're a man or if a, a woman but if you're transgender is that correct or even gay I mean the the facial recognition is uh, quite difficult to to make because you have to identify the certain points of the bones you know it doesn't matter if you are wearing glasses or makeup mm -hmm. it, it is like uh, uh, the root itself it's, it's in the in the bones so so uh, as soon as you have that, it doesn't matter if you are transgender or not, or not you can uh, be identified whatever you are. Just very, very quickly, I mean, because mm -hmm. this, this is actually, this goes further back, right? Chelsea Manning was actually a member of the U.S. military yes. who was male. Yes. Um, this person actually got into these issues because of leaked information, mm -hmm. correct? Um, it became a big deal. Well, it's a huge um, deal. Linked a million of documents. Millions of documents. To WikiLeaks. To WikiLeaks mm -hmm. through Julian Assange. And then uh, this person became a woman. Yes. And now she is running for um, this, Congress uh -huh. for, in, in the United States. Same, yeah. And based on, but based on this issue of security and 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 right now the idea that that they will be able to use technology to discriminate in one way or another against.
Yes, yeah, so it's just it's just one part of that of that uh, keynote. She was uh, speaking about uh, also the that the devices we're using are becoming listening machines. That's true. And in in the context of what's going about Facebook, we we mentioned that before in this space. But uh, even that uh, Facebook is being accused of more leak uh, of the information okay. to the um, hardware developers right. of the of the smartphones. Yeah. Uh, who are you going to trust your, well, your information? Yeah, do you know what's really freaky, what's happening now, and I don't know if it's happened to you? You talk about going to vacations in Cancun, and then you turn on your cell phone, or you look at your Facebook, and bam, there's ads about Cancun. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you're talking about buying a toy for your child that, you know, that uh, is uh, Legos, for example, then you see ads about these types of toys. So, I mean, they're using the information. It is a listening device, because that is is taking that information and translating to the types of ads that are going to be reflected when you uh, go into Facebook or you go into a website. Yeah, she mentioned that the ads are a way of malware. So right. it's a uh, probably a necessary malware, but everyone is using it. So mm -hmm. um, the, the big data uh, thing here is that Okay, they are collecting our data, even our health data with these smart watches devices. Right. But uh, how are we going to be discriminated in the future? I mean, mm -hmm. it's not only about the skin tone that can be recognized in the facial ID uh, lo uh, when you lo unlock your phone, but also with health uh, data. Of, uh, probably if you are, uh, you have, have cancer or diabetes mm -hmm. or whatever. So who is going to 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 stop? that discrimination in terms of data. I don't even know if it's possible at this point. I mean, once, you know, there, there, I know there's a process by which they're trying to create a mechanism so you can kind of take that information out of the system or somehow create well, the way this it's, I mean, protection. Supposedly, right? the way that Apple actually sold this idea of facial recognition for, for its iPhone 10 and all right. of that is that there's this idea that you have this chip that's only in that particular unit right. and that information is not shared with anybody else. Right? It's right. quite intelligent. I mean, in terms of security, that that is uh, mercadologically perfect. But right. in terms of, of how they are collecting our data, but, uh, it's, it's uh, Is she going to win? Hmm? Is Chelsea Manning going to win? I am not sure. It was uh, not. It, it was just like the context of, of the of the article, but. Um it's a, a we certainly need legislation for this, right? The, right? the amount of money she she has is is like the third part of the of the actual. Is that what she needs to run for campaign? Not, but what she's doing now about the putting all these subjects uh, uh, in a congress of creativity right. like that, it's quite important, and we really need to talk about this because probably we're speaking what is going to happen in 20 years. Right. But it's uh, it's it's, it's happening. Uh, you know, it's kind of happening. Yeah. Yeah. Alina, yeah. thank you. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank, um, thank you. So let's remember that back in 1994, um, one of the things that we have to talk about right now is one of the most important events that we have to talk about right now is in the economic scene. I was talking about 1994 because, of course, that was uh, the first year of the uh, NAFTA agreement.